I've directed at every studio except Walt Disney. Then you'll hire with a flashlight. Oh, there we go. And action! This was the first time, and I'm really proud of that. So many of the classics, Bambi and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Dumbo. Where am I? Giant country. They were famous for scaring us. Then, before the air could refill our lungs, making us smile. I catch dreams. Oh. So BFG feels like a hybrid film between an Amblin Entertainment movie and a classical Disney fairy tale. Hold your breath, cross your fingers, here we go. Hi, I'm Ruby Barnu, and I play Sophie in BFG. Here are my favorite moments from making the movie. It was really, really fun working with amazing actors. Penelope plays the Queen in such a wonderful way. Mark Rylance, who plays the BFG, is really great. We get to go see the Queen in Buckingham Palace. It was really fun to be a tiny person in a giant size world because I would see a jar and it was like up to here on me. Oh my gosh, my favorite set was Green Country. The costumes in this film are absolutely fabulous. You can see all my favourites in the BFG. Where am I? Giant country. Steven Spielberg approached me on the set of Bridge of Spies and asked me if I'd read BFG. Mark had such profound range as an actor. <laughs> and I wanted the BFG to look Super photo realistic. I was hearing all the secret whisperings of the world. And the only way I could capture that was to animate him based on Mark's performance. What's in those jars? Dreams. Dreams aren't things. Is that right? He takes Sophie to a world of fantasy and adventure. Oh my. That's part of the great love and friendship they have for each other. Mark as the BFG really touched my heart. It all comes down to imagination in the end. Well, hold your breaths, cross your fingers, here we go. Rated PG. Hello, little Missy. Mark. 
do end slate. Oh, Stevie, cameras, using the ground floor. Do you want to do end markers, sticks? Yeah, do end markers because we're avoiding them all. I think I dropped it in giant country. You dropped it in giant country? Okay, yeah. yeah. So we'll just do this. Let's do this one. Let's get ready for this, fellas. I'd be back a little further to see this, but I see her and I see the idol. And then after that, she'll just peek around the corner. Sam! Hi. Just lay it down. And step back, step away from it. Back, 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 back. Keep stepping back, keep stepping back. I dreamt that girls and boys were being snatched out of their beds in their boarding schools and they were being eaten by the most ghastly giants. Your Majesty. Please, BFG, start. And cut. Good. Okay. Bone cruncher, and he's, his main clothing is made out of a circus tent, which actually that was Stephen's idea. I can't take any credit for that whatsoever. But he he's a little bit immature, so he collects cars and keeps them on his person.
giant country. Steven Spielberg approached me on the set of Bridge of Spies and asked me if I'd read BFG. Mark had such profound range as an actor. <laughs> and I wanted the BFG to look super photo realistic. I was hearing all the secret whisperings of the world. And the only way I could capture that was to animate him based on Mark's performance. What's in those jars? Dreams. Dreams aren't things. Is that right? He takes Sophie to a world of fantasy and adventure. Oh, my. That's part of the great love and friendship they have for each other. Mark, as the BFG, really touched my heart. It all comes down to imagination in the end. Well, hold your breaths, cross your fingers, here we go. Hi, I'm Ruby Barnell. And I play Sophie in the BFG. Here are my favorite moments from making the movie. It was really, really fun working with amazing actors. Penelope plays the queen in such a wonderful way. Mark Rylance, who plays the BFG, is really great. We get to go see the queen in Buckingham Palace. It was really fun to be a tiny person in a giant size world because I would see a jar and it was like up to here on me. Oh my gosh, my favorite set was Green Country. The costumes in this film are absolutely fabulous. You can see all my favorites in the BFG. The BFG is one of Raoul Dahl's best books. There's so much imagination and adventure, and it's certainly a book beloved the world around. I love that Raoul Dahl had chosen a girl protagonist. Dahl was famous for scaring us, then in the same breath, making us smile. It was one of the things that attracted me to wanting to direct this wonderful story. And also, I've directed at every studio, except Walt Disney. This was the first time, and I'm really proud of that. I was hearing all the secret whisperings of the world. Excellent, excellent. Hi, Vale here. So you like Disney animated movies? Well, I've got an interesting fact from The Little Mermaid, in that it was the last Disney animated film to use the time-consuming process of hand-painted cells and analog camera and film work. 1,100 backgrounds featured, 1,000 different colors and over 1 million drawings were done in all. Adding to that, the last shot completed in The Little Mermaid, where Ariel is reaching up through the skylight of her grotto, took four attempts to get the optical effects perfect. Whoa. My favorite Disney film is The Sword in the Stone, and my favorite character is Archimedes, the owl. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the best animated film releases.